Captain Coder here, and in this guide, I first challenge you to optimize your Raycast such that it doesn't occur every frame. Then I'm gonna show you two possible solutions. This is the seventh video in our 2D platformer project, and if you missed the previous videos, you can find links to them in the description below, or you can hop right into this part using the provided Unity package. Also, if you would like to be notified when the next video is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Before we hop in, I want to remind you that you can ask questions, share your projects, and join the Captain's crew on Discord, or catch me live at captaincoder.live, where I create fun projects like this, chat with the crew, and drink way too much bean water. All right, let's hop in. If all has gone well, you now have a platformer in which you can jump, but not infinitely jump. And we're doing that currently using a ray cast from the center of our player down below. However, you may have realized that we are calling this every frame in our update. So if I pull my scene off to the side here, we can actually play the game with our scene view running and you'll watch as our ray cast is actually happening every frame. That is. 60 times per second if we're running at 60 frames per second and we really only care if we're on the ground when we actually press the space bar. So we're going to introduce an optimization where we only perform our raycast when we press the space bar. So I would like to challenge you. Can you update your code such that it only performs the raycast once? when you actually press the space bar rather than every frame. Go ahead, give it a shot, and I'll see you on the other end. If all has gone well, you now have a ray cast that occurs only when you perform a jump. Check out my scene window here. When I press space, my ray cast appears momentarily just for that one second. When I'm in the air, we'll see it appear multiple times, but rather than happening 60 frames per second, it is only happening when I press that space. I'm about to go over a solution to this. If you're not quite here yet, go ahead and pause, see if you can get here, and then come back. Here I am in the original code where I am checking if I am on the ground, then performing a conditional check to see if I press the space key and I'm on the ground, then I will apply my force. What we want to do is we only want to perform the check inside of this if statement. So your solution may look like the following. You took this chunk of code, moved it inside of your if, then removed the is ground check from the original if statement, added an additional if statement here that checks if we is on the ground, and then apply the force. If you did it this way, great. This is a fine approach. However, you'll notice our code now has this nesting. It's grown in complexity here, where we read this input, we do some calculation, we have another input. It's getting a little bit complex. Maybe it's not too complex yet, but you can imagine as we add more and more to our program that the complexity will grow. When we start to see complexity like this, when we start nesting if statements, it's often a good idea to consider how can I manage the complexity of my code? In this case, we can actually write code that performs this check for us. Let's go ahead and do that now. Beneath my update method, I'm going to add what we call a helper method. The helper method is going to help us manage this complexity. And in this case, it's going to be a method that returns true if we're on the ground and false if we're not. This chunk of logic here. To do this, I'm going to write a method public. Bool is on ground. Next, I'm going to move the code that I have nested inside of my if statement there. Next, I will return is on ground. Lastly, I need to perform this check inside of my update. One option is to put a call to this method within our original if statement. Another option would be to write this is on ground 
inside of the original if statement using an and. This allows us to eliminate this nesting and once again, reduce the complexity of our code. You might be asking, isn't this gonna execute every time we're in our update? Luckily, this isn't the case when we use the double ampersand and operator here. It actually short circuits if the first portion of our if statement is false. As soon as it encounters the false expression, the whole if statement cancels out and we don't execute the remainder of that expression. Thus, is on ground will only be called if we are also pressing the space bar. One thing you may have noticed is that our is on ground member variable is only being used within this method and isn't accessed anywhere else. This is usually an indication that we can remove that state and once again, reduce the complexity of our program. In this case, I can simplify my return by simply returning the expression that is being assigned to is on ground and eliminate that variable altogether. Fantastic. I hope you are able to optimize your player jump controller such that it's not performing a raycast every frame, but instead only when you press space. I want to remind you that your code does not need to be identical to mine, but the functionality should match. I'd like you to take this time now to refactor your code so it's easy for you to understand what is going on. After you had finished refactoring, I want to know what changes are different in your code. Use a site such as Pastebin, Hastebin, or Gist Hub to post a link to your code in the comments below and we can have a discussion. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this guide useful. Sadly, we still have a few unintended features in our platformer. Can you spot them in play mode? Let me know by leaving a comment in the description below. And if you would like to be notified when the next video is out to see how I approach fixing these deficiencies, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And as always, keep coding, keep growing, be the best you you can be, and you are welcome back anytime. Bye bye